To advertise with us or to sponsor our content, please email us at thousandshadesofindia at gmail.com. This is Barkas, an Arab enclave in the heart of an Indian metropolis. Though people here don't speak Arabic anymore, but Haris and Kahwa are still their staple. And that symbol of Arab pride and culture, the kafiya, is still donned by many with honor. After decades of assimilation, they are more Indian than Arab in the way they speak, eat, live and celebrate. But there are still sprinklings of Arab elements, Yemeni to be precise, that pop out in their popular culture. Welcome to Hyderabad, a South Indian metropolis that was founded by the medieval Deccan king Muhammad Kuli Qutub Shah. The city has since been a major hub of art, culture, craft and trade, attracting people from all over India, Middle East, Central Asia, Africa and Europe. Being the world capital of diamond trade at its peak, Hyderabad was once among the richest cities in the world. And not so long ago, its erstwhile rulers, the Asaf Jahi Nizams, were among the richest men on earth. In the late 19th and early 20th centuries, the Hyderabad state was the largest and the most prosperous princely state in India. And its army comprised of soldiers from far and wide, including the Arabs who were largely Yemenis. A corruption of the English word barracks Barkas is a vibrant locality with its distinct culture rooted in the Yamani ethos, while assimilating considerably with the local traditions. According to the popular history, Barkas was founded in 1903 by Awad Saleh Abil Layl Al Salami, who was a commander in the Nizam's army. Al Salami was a Yamani who helped set up the Nizam's Arab regiment and filled it with young Yamani mercenaries. The soldiers eventually married local women, started families and settled in Hyderabad permanently. As we enter the periphery of Barkas, the locality's Arabian flavor is palpable, with the signboards in Arabic and an array of Arabian eateries welcoming the visitors. Navigating through the narrow streets of Barkas and the neighboring area of Salala, symbols of Yamani culture such as the headgear and the colorful sarongs that are synonymous with the Yamanis stand out. Remember the Arabian nights and the flying carpets? That's the feeling we had as we felt the magic of having been transported to Southern Arabia from Southern India. The unmistakable aroma of spices, Arabic coffee and the fragrance of perfume wafting through the air further accentuates our Arabian experience. Our Arabian reverie in the midst of southern India received the finality when we came across Haris Al Hadrami on the market road of Barkas. For a 
moment, we were wondering whether we have actually traveled to a Yamani neighborhood. But in reality, this is just another shade of an infinitely diverse India. We were pulled out of our time travel when we heard the locals welcoming us in the typical Hyderabadi Deccani dialect. This is among the aspects of the local culture that the settlers have adopted over the last century. Yamani or Hyderabadi, the Haris is sumptuous. Though laced with the local flavor, it is as authentic as it gets. Haris is a southern Arabian delicacy made of wheat, meat, herbs and dollops of ghee that has survived a century of assimilation in Barkas, albeit with a twist. Haris al Hadrami is the only surviving Haris Gitri in Barkas. And the Bin Habtur family is busy serving a steady stream of locals and visitors with the community's favorite breakfast. Though the culture of Barkas has evolved over the years and so has its taste, the craze for the sticky, porridge like dish has not thinned. अब ये जो है थोड़ा बारकस का डिफरेंस ऐसा है इसमें गेहूं का दाना साबित रहता रमजान में तो ये 30 डेज तो अवेलेबल रहती रहती ये यहां पर रमजान में नहीं मिलती बखाय आम दिनों में जो है रेगुलर मिलती हां इसमें गेहूं का दाना मोटा रहता और वो जो घोटे जाती वो बिल्कुल बारीक हो जाती ये जो है हाथ से जो है उसको रात में भिगने डाल डालते वैसे ही जो है साबित रहता गेहूं का दाना उसमें जो है रवा इस्तेमाल करते उनको बारीक पीस के डाल लगते हैं उसमें आटा इस्तेमाल होता जैसे असली ही इस्तेमाल होता मटन है उसमें और जो है मसाले वगैरह पूरे पड़ते हैं उसमें हालांकि ऐसा बहुत से और दूसरे लोग भी बनाने की कोशिश करते हैं मगर यहां के वैसा टेस्ट वो एक शनाख्त एक पहचान हो गई समझो कि आप ये यहां पर ऐसा ही मिलता बल्कि दूसरी तरफ नहीं मिलता है Another Yemeni tradition that has survived the test of time is the kahwa or the Arabic coffee that the residents of Barkas continue to swear by. The Al Askari Cafe has been serving the traditional kahwa and Sulaimani for more than half a century, keeping the pot of traditions simmering. While the Yemenis and most of the Arabs prefer their kahwa black, made with water, some herbs, and powdered coffee. The inhabitants of Barkas have a very popular variant of kahwa made with a mixture of coffee powder, sugar, clove, cinnamon, cashew, almonds, saffron, and most importantly, milk. A popular social hub. The kahwa stall is where the local community gathers every evening, sharing their joys and sorrows over warm cups of Arabian-flavored coffee and tea. 
ये हमारे पास क्या है तो घावा सलेमानी और या पानी का घावा ये तीन चीज़ मिलते हैं अपने पास घावे का पाउडर अतीज ये सब चीज़ अहमदिल्ला अपने पास है ये अपनी कई चालीस साल हो गया ये बारकस में आके ये घावे की शॉप डाल के इससे पहले अपनी हाशाबाद में थी अहमदिल्ला अब यहाँ पर आके हमारे वाल साहब थे वाल साहब के बाद हम चार यहाँ बैठते ये एक पानी का घावा जी इसमें चोट है बुन है और अपने क्या बोलते थे थोड़ा जाफरान है और इसमें मैं थोड़ा नमक सा डाला नहार पेट पीते हमारे पास ये सुबह तो मॉर्निंग उठते कि पानी का घावा तीन खजूर बस और ये दूध का घावा है इसमें चोट है दालचीनी इलायची काजू बादाम जाफरान सब चीज़ मिक्स है ये खुद अपन को इसे बना के सबके तो लिए दे दे It is also located next to the traditional market where the locals bring their fruits and vegetables grown in their backyards every morning to auction. This is a tradition that has been maintained since the early days of Barkas. बस्ती तकरीबन डेढ़ सौ साल से है और ये हर रात तकरीबन करीब एक सौ साल से कंटिन्यू चल रहा है ये और यहाँ पे जाम अंजीर शहदूत पपई सीताफल जमरूद सपोटा जामुन हर किस्म के फल आते हैं और या बस्ती से भी आते हैं और अतराफ के जो बागत है वहाँ से भी लेके आते हैं Adding to these age-old traditions, new flavors permeate the air of Barkas. Though mandi has been the mainstay of the Yemeni culinary tradition for centuries, but the food item was not part of the community's popular cuisine until recently, largely due to the Hyderabadi biryani dominating the food scene in the region. However, with the growing number of men from Barkas working in the Arabian Gulf now, the arabian cultural influence has only increased reflecting in the rising number of restaurants serving mandi in the area i mean if you look at hyderabad only you see a lot of this kya bolte hai khabsa mandi ka shock culture whatever you want to call it chad gaya but much before that itself we have had all the in fact i believe halim is also a form of i think halim Haris are all similar, but I believe what Arabs have brought with them is what we call haris. So the halim made in Hyderabad is something that the Iranians made, but halim I believe is something that even the Arabs have been making for a much 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 longer time. So that uh, Barkas as an area also I think is generally very underexplored. I think बहुत कम लोग को मालूम कि यहाँ पर ऐसा it's like a separate city within the city itself. सिर्फ औरंगाबाद और हैदराबाद दो जगह ऐसे हैं जहाँ पर देर इज वे देर इज ये मैनी सेटलमेंट इन द नाइनटीन सेंचुरी अंडर द निज़ाम्स ऑफ हैदराबाद दीज ये मैनी इज वर वेरी आई थिंक हैदरमाउत इज द प्लेस वेयर दे वर वेरी स्पेसिफिकली ब्रॉड फ्रॉम टू वर्क इन द आर्मीज एंड ये जो एरिया है थोड़ा सा चार मीनार के इट्स अबाउट थोड़ा छः सात किलोमीटर है मेरे ख्याल से अभी फिलहाल थोड़ा वो एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम मैन दे वर ब्रॉड इट वॉज आउटसाइड द सिटी अभी ऑफकोर्स पूरा सिटी विजेंट के अंदर ही है मेनी ऑफ देम यूज टू वर्क इन द स्टेट आर्मी प्राइमरीली दैट इज वॉट दे वर हैदराबाद आर्मी दे वर समथिंग कॉल द हैदराबाद स्टेट आर्मी उसमें में भी उसके अंदर में भी यू हैड अ लॉट ऑफ अरब सोल्जर्स यूज टू वर्क एंड इनफैक्ट द लास्ट मिलिट्री कमांडर ऑफ हैदराबाद कॉल्ड सैयद अहमद अली दरूस आई बिलीव ही आई बिलीव ही अरब स्टॉक फ्रॉम even as the economic migration of young men to the arabian gulf has reconnected the people of barkas with their roots the locals feel more at home in india in barkas than anywhere else sharing caring and togetherness are among the values that the barkas community cherishes the most
Their strong sense of shared identity continues to help them stick together and live as a clan, forming a unique synthesis of Indians with unmistakable Arabian blood and traits. India is a popery of cultures and every corner of this diverse country throws a surprise at you. Just when you thought you knew India like you should know your motherland, it opens up new vistas of its myriad sheets to you. Keep following thousand sheets of India and explore with us the unseen beauty and diversity of this great nation.